Hey everyone, happy Valentine's Day to those of you who celebrate. I hope you're all enjoying your special day with your significant other. And speaking of significant other, in today's video, I have a very special guest joining me. Do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, um, she's a little shy, guys, so. This is Wife Kane. I won't say my real name, but it's good to be here. I'm nervous, so bear with me, y'all. Yeah, it's okay. She's a little shy, guys. It's it's her first time doing this, so this is something I've been wanting to do with her for a while and just answer some questions from the community with uh, my special, special lady. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so very first question. What is your wife's favorite game? What is your favorite game, darling, if you had to That's pick one? That's an easy one, and it's not what you guys expect because you guys play all these first shooter games and all that, and I play Sims 4. Or three. It's it? it's Sims 4 yeah. that you play. Sims 4. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any others? Or is that one just kind of like your favorite at the moment? It is at the moment. And I play a lot of mobile games, but... <laughs> yeah. My wife my wife plays the mobile games, guys. You can... No. I was going to say, feel free to laugh. No. Don't don't laugh at my wife. That's, that's mean. Don't do it's that. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. I've got plenty of questions here to choose from. I just... I also want to say thank you guys for uh, submitting all of these questions I've gotten some really great ones and before I actually move on to the next question I need to make sure that my wife is aware that we have a, uh, a special little surprise for her for this for this particular video so I don't know what that is uh, you won't know but when you watch it back you'll see these images pop up on the screen you won't see them right now while we're talking but in uh. editing <laughs> you'll see these images pop up on the screen here I knew it. So there's one and there's two and there's a third <laughs> one in the works. So what do you think about that, huh? Pretty cool? Yeah, that's cute. Yeah, do you like that? Yes, except my hair's not that color right now, which... Is, no, yeah, your hair's okay. a, a different color, but you know, I figured since my persona <laughs> is essentially Corvo from Dishonored, that I would make you my empress from Dishonored. So you're dressed in the exact same clothing, you have the exact same hairstyle oh, as the empress okay. from Dishonored, because Corvo and the empress have a, have a romantic mm -hmm. thing. So yeah, my wife has a... Uh, a cartoon persona and we have um, the amazing artist dude tune to thank for that shout out to you thank you appreciate you for creating this on such short notice yeah Seriously. So yeah, wanted to kind of surprise you a little bit with that. Okay, <laughs> so we'll do another question. And this time I'm going to pull one from the Discord. And that question is, what would you, you, I'm, I'm, you can't see, but I'm pointing at her. What would you do if I was small enough to fit in your pocket? Like a small animal, would you just put me up on the top shelf after an argument? <laughs> <laughs> So the funny thing is, is that I've thought about this a lot. You want to like shrink me down yes. and put me in like a shirt like pocket? Like when you go to work, I really <laughs> want, I wish you can just stay in my pocket. <laughs> just, you know, probably lay on my forehead, but, <laughs> but yeah, if, if, you know, if I'm upset or something, I'll just put you in a jar put me in a jar so yeah. if with I, holes that way you with can holes so i can breathe yeah but if i scream nobody's gonna hear right right if i scream for help nobody's mm -hmm. gonna hear me because i'm shrunk it's so small <laughs> 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 and then a uh, second question from this same individual this these are questions from dude tune uh what's y'all's favorite dinosaur I think the Velociraptor, because Jurassic Park, the Velociraptor is the the creepiest one. Yeah, when that they, one's when actually they, pretty. When cool. they open the door, and they're smart enough to open the door. That's yeah, that's actually like pretty scary. Yeah. Would you say that one's your favorite? Yes and no. I really haven't thought about that question, but and because I can't pronounce all these dinosaur names, so I try not. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. All right. The next question here: Have you guys ever cosplayed as any Arcane Studio? those characters before no but soon i I'd, would really love to do i that. would love to do that yeah it's not something that we've actually done but i mean i have corvo's mask sitting on my desk and i would love to be able to cosplay as a dishonored or even a death loop character would be oh yeah would be a lot we've of fun we've looked at death loop we uh, have we looked at yeah did we did we look 
How yeah. long ago was that? This was like a year and a half ago, probably. It was a while ago. We were yeah. looking at some death loop. And I saw that and, you know, looks really cool. What are your favorite games to play together? So we haven't really played a lot of games together it's recently. It's really hard to play co-op games at the moment because we don't have yeah, much time we don't to have, focus on that. Yeah, we know? don't have a lot of time. Our time, as many of you are aware, is focused elsewhere on our on our child, our son, who will remain nameless for this video <laughs> for privacy purposes. <laughs> But um, I, what I will say in response to that question is that uh, we, we were, we had started uh, It Takes Two mm -hmm. a while ago, which some of you are going to be familiar with It Takes Two. But if not, you can just, I don't know, Google it, <laughs> <laughs> look it up. That's a, that's, that's a fun co-op game it's that we really still need to, game. we yeah. need to finish that. Mm -hmm. So um, next question here. Wait, we, we, we would play that game and then we ended up playing Cars together okay yeah <laughs> actually that's that's a good point yeah, so yeah. what is our favorite i don't know if it's our favorite game to play together but um yeah cars three driven to win and we have our our child to thank for that because he's <laughs> cars uh disney pixar cars specifically is his uh is his current obsession so yep. next question here what is the cheesiest or corniest video game related romantic gesture that i have ever pulled so we're gonna go back to cars video game where arcane would let me win on the hardest difficulty because i wasn't able to be in second place while he was in first. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah. yeah that was that'd and be the cheesiest yeah. thing is like I would let you You would let win, me win. Because I would be so far ahead of everyone else yes. on the racetrack. Yeah. <laughs> even so, yeah. when I'm even when I'm trying not to sweat, I end up sweating and trying very hard to to win <laughs> <laughs> what personality traits and or beauty features would you say you admire most about each other you can go first me oh, oh okay <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, there's so much to choose from. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I'm just staring into her eyes. I would start with, and this is a very honest answer, is her cheeks. She has these like really smushy <laughs> cheeks that I just adore. And I'm, I'm talking about about face cheeks here. Not, oh. not, not the other, not the other cheeks. So I'm talking about her face cheeks. So she's got these really smushy cheeks that I, I really love. <laughs> it's good you made that clear because uh, yeah, I feel like I a think... lot of people would be like, that's the first thing they think about. I need to specify that, yeah. <laughs> My turn? Yes, your turn. What What is the personality traits or beauty feature that you say you admire most about each other and actually before you go next so that was beauty feature like my favorite personality trait about you even though sometimes it hurts is the fact that you are very blunt with people mm -hmm. especially me you don't hold anything back you're brutally honest you tell the truth no matter how bad it hurts which is good honestly i admire and respect that a lot about you is the fact that you don't hold anything back if you have an opinion, you're going to share it. And I feel better about that because it's it's better to get your, your true thoughts and feelings out there than to just hold them in and bottle them up is what I would say. So yeah, I would say that's my first, uh, my favorite uh, personality trait about you. So I try to be nice about it too. You, you do. Yeah, to be fair, you do try yeah. to be nice about it. So, but anyway, that's, that's, my perspective on you what about you what are your some of your favorite things about me just personality traits my facial features i guess i mean since the moment i saw you what got me were your eyes i've seen them before in photos but before we met but mm -hmm. um in person it's just you get lost get lost in my eyes yeah <laughs> yeah it's i mean i kind of a giveaway but like my my persona my cartoon character has those sharp blue eyes and i i have the very same you guys can't see them obviously but um <laughs> i have very striking blue eyes that yeah a lot of mm -hmm. people compliment me on that but it's always great to hear you <laughs> talk about how dreamy my eyes are mm -hmm. so. <laughs> and also i think <clears throat> well i don't think but i love how you're so patient with me too yeah especially that... a while ago i just i'm i was super indecisive is that how you say it indecisive about about just what? certain things in life and you would oh, just okay. kind of calm me down and just patience and mm -hmm. certainty 
like giving you some certainty in mm -hmm. some uncertain situations. Would you say that's like your favorite, my like best personality trait to you? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. I think so. Okay. That was a long answer to a, a very good question. Thank you for that. Next question here. We all know the struggles of being a parent, but what are some things that you guys enjoy the most with the baby? And I mean, I would start by saying he's not really technically a baby anymore. He's been a toddler for a while. He's actually going to turn three in April, which is just insane. I still remember it like it was yesterday. We were in the hospital and he just is like, all right, I'm here. Your lives have been changed forever. <laughs> I think probably one of my things that I enjoy the most about him, especially right now, is his laugh. Mm -hmm. I love it when he laughs, especially his like his belly laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I see I laugh just thinking about it but that's probably one of the things I enjoy the most about him is just his his laugh and his smile and also just like seeing him just kind of run around and play and kind of just exist in his own little bubble mm -hmm. you know he he when he plays with his toys and he kind of like like talks gibberish to himself it's it's so adorable just to see him like living in his own little universe, even if it's just for like five or 10 minutes, it's, it's adorable. Yeah. I think for me, it's just how goofy he is. Yeah. Like he, he knows how to make <laughs> me laugh. It's just hilarious. And I think it's really cute. It is. And I enjoy that a lot. The little moments. The little, yeah, the, the little moments I would say is, mm -hmm. is good. What would you think about me carrying your heart around in my hand and squeezing it to hear your voice? Whoa. And that's a dishonored reference, by the way, because I need to, I need to provide some context for that because <laughs> In Dishonored, Corvo, basically, he literally carries the human heart mm -hmm. of the Empress and he squeezes it and you can hear her voice, like the voice of like her ghost or her spirit. Mm -hmm. And she like tells you secrets about people or the world. So going back to that question, now that you kind of understand a bit of the context around that, how would you feel about that if like I was like carrying your heart around in my hand and I would just like give it a little squeeze and then you would whisper secrets to me about people or places that I'm visiting. Well, when you squeeze it, I would probably say something dumb, to be honest. <laughs> You'd say something dumb? I'd what would you say? I'd say something like, get me wings. Get you wings? Chicken wings? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're obsessed with wings. That's another little fun fact you should know about the two of us. We love to go out for wings as often as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a very interesting question. If you were stuck in the death loop in real life and one of you had to kill the other to escape it, A, would you do it? Or B, if no, for giggles, if you had to, who would outsmart the other and win? Ooh. So, so the first part of that question, so if we were stuck in the death loop for real and one of us had to kill the other to escape, would we do it? Would you kill me if it meant you could escape the no. living hell that is nope. a 24 hour loop? You wouldn't kill me? Mm -mm. No? No. You would want to relive the same day over and over again? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. You think so? Explain your reasoning for that. Because... <laughs> Elaborate on that. <laughs> <laughs> because you're not boring at all. So I feel like every day, if we went back... If we, if we, if we retained our memories, if we kept our memories right, yeah. from the previous loop... Mm -hmm. Then, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because, I mean, you're pretty entertaining and funny, so I don't think we... I don't know, I wouldn't get bored of you, so that's the reason why I wouldn't kill you. Plus, I love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Hey, you know what? Colt loved Juliana, too, and he killed her over and over and over again because he realized that living in a never-ending time loop was, like, not the right way to go about living and experiencing life, but... Mm -hmm. That's one perspective. I'm I'm torn on that. I mean, obviously, we're talking about the hypothetical of like killing you to break a time loop. That's that's like a damn near impossible question, honestly, because it's like, yeah, I love you too. I don't want. I wouldn't ever want to hurt you, you know. So, I'm gonna have to do. I don't want to call it a cop out, but like I'm gonna have to agree with you because just actually like going through with killing you, I think would just be too difficult. Impossible, even. But if you were a stranger, then I'd probably kill you. If I was, yeah, yeah. if we didn't know each other, mm -hmm. yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> but I we do. Be, I can be, uh, like, smart. Yeah, oh yeah. And, and th yeah. Which feeds into the next mm -hmm. part of the question. So, if no, for giggles, if you had to, who would outsmart the other and win? You think, so, yeah. so you think that 
let's let's say we're in like a Colt and Juliana situation, and I'm Colt and Ju you're Juliana because she's like constantly outsmarting him, mm -hmm. and she's like ten steps ahead of him. You think you would win? You would outsmart me? I think so. You think so? Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you are really quiet, so I wouldn't be able to hear if you're behind me or not. That's true. That's. You know, I usually, I tend to pick the stealthy approach in mm -hmm. arcane games. And uh, ironically enough, I am very stealthy in real life. Yep. I have this like terrible habit of sneaking up on everyone mm -hmm. and they have no idea I'm there. So I often joke with you that uh, in another life, I might have been like a hitman or an assassin or something. That would <laughs> in, be the only way. That would be the only yeah. way. Yeah. But is if I at snuck the same up on time, you. I have eyes behind my head. Head. That's true. You do. You do. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I would agree with her, and I think that inevitably I believe she would find a way to outsmart me and, mm -hmm. and beat me there. Okay, and then we only have one last question, um, and this is a question for... I, this is actually like several questions oh. all rolled into one. So the first one is a question for me. When was the first time you ever played Dishonored and what was the moment you can remember that defined what you love about it? So very first time I played it, um, this would have been my sophomore year of high school. Um, so this was 2012 when the game came out and I remember being so excited for it. I didn't actually play it on the day of release, which was really aggravating. I spent the first two to three days after the game came out working on a uh, project for my physics class, and I was so focused on trying to complete that that I never actually managed to play the game on release day. I played it a couple days later, which sucked at the time, but it was what it was. Once I actually played the game, I found out how amazing and incredible it was. Um, as far as whether there was a moment, like, I don't, I don't think there was really that I can recall a specific moment where I realized that this was, this was the game for me, or like, this, this is what really defines what I love about it. I think it was just over over the course of the past several years, I've kind of come to these realizations about the things that I love in the Dishonored games, but more broadly, the things that I like in the Dishonored games, I think kind of informed the things that I love about all games that I play. That idea of giving the player as much freedom as possible to do whatever they want or to accomplish their objectives in whatever manner they so choose. Yeah, I, I would say just kind of in hindsight, looking back on my experience with the franchise has kind of given me, as the years go on and on, I just get more and more appreciation for, for the games and, and what they have done for me as far as informing myself about the things that I like about just games in general. And then this next question is for you. Do you play video games? And if so, what kind of games do you prefer? If you don't, what games personally pique your interest that you may like to try? So we already kind of answered that one earlier. You enjoy kind of well, the... What I do want to say uh, for the other question... For the second one, yeah. Yeah, the, the one that we just answered. What games do you maybe want to try that No, no, no. The one your... you just answered about the first time playing Dishonored. Oh, yeah. When was the first time you ever played Dishonored? So you were bummed out not playing it on release day, right? Yes, yeah. So I'm saying that's okay because you need to study and do your homework. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay in school, kids. Yeah, stay in school. Um, but I remember when I played Dishonored for the first time. Yeah? When was that? Enlighten that was like... our audience, darling. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea about this game at all until I met you. And this was when we were dating. And this was two weeks in while we were dating. And I remember you wanted to see how I would do. Yeah, how we, how you would perform, quote mm -hmm. unquote, while playing and the game. Let and let me tell y'all, I was so good. Just kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I just, I was shooting at walls in the sky everywhere. You, and I wasn't stealthy at all. Yeah, you struggled quite a bit. I, I should, I think we should clarify that my wife deals with quite a bit of motion sickness, mm -hmm. especially with first person games, which is why she often is literally like physically unable to watch me play like Dishonored, Deathloop, all of those games because they just make her feel nauseous after watching for a I can watch extended for period of like time. maybe 30 seconds and have to look away and then go back to looking again. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, that's just a, a thing that just happened recently. And I used to play Call of Duty a lot too. 
back yeah. in the day. And but, I would have loved to have seen that. That would yeah. be it'd be the same thing, just shooting at walls. Just but... <laughs> shooting at walls. <laughs> no, actually connecting the bullets with the the bad guys. And I guess we and... kind of answered that other question. Like, yes, you do play video games. Mm -hmm. And as far as what kind of games you prefer, I prefer I think more of simulation. Simulation. I think the best way to describe the games that my wife enjoys are cozy games. <laughs> And you guys, yeah. obviously, you guys know what cozy games are, but cozy games are just ones you can sit down, relax, unwind. Mm -hmm. You don't have to put a whole lot of effort into it, mm -hmm. you know, which is why I think the main reason why you play a lot of the mobile games is they're very just kind of chill, cozy games. Mm -hmm. and, and it's the same thing with The Sims. The Sims is not a hardcore game by... It's just chill. Yeah, it's chill. Yeah, I think you, you play a lot of very chill mm -hmm. games there. And then what games have you not played that interest you that you might want to try? Um, it's hard to think of one just on the spot. I've been interested in playing the Stray. Oh yeah, Stray, the, mm, the cat the one. The cat one. Yeah, 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 that one won a lot of awards when that came out, so. It's a cat, so. Yeah, it's a cat, and we love yeah. cats. <laughs> but yeah, I'm interested in hopefully soon playing that, but yeah, playing no Stray. rush. Okay, okay. Any others that you can just kind of think of off the top of your head or? Mm, not at the moment. No, nothing, nothing comes to mind? No. Alrighty. Okay, well, that was our final question for this Q&A. So I want to thank you, love of my life, for <laughs> being here and helping to answer some of these questions with me. I know I, I kind of have, like I tend to do, uh, taken over the conversation a little bit. No, it's okay. I feel like you haven't really had a chance to speak, but also I will give you credit. This is your first time speaking to everybody. Mm -hmm. This is the, their first time hearing your voice. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think we'll, we'll probably do this again in the future mm -hmm. when, you know, the following gets a little bit bigger and you feel a little more comfortable in this scenario. But thank you so much for being here to answer some of these questions. Thank you for having so, me yeah. on this Valentine's Day. It is. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys as well so if you did enjoy make sure to hit that like button it is very much appreciated and consider subscribing for other cool content that i've got coming out in the coming weeks and months and, and do you want to do the outro yes <laughs> <laughs> i figured as much go and on and remember then. that the outstein just kidding <laughs> that the outside <laughs> wait let me do it again and remember that the outsider walks among us that's good yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>